Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. So today we're gonna start a new series and um, honestly, we're gonna continue the Austria series, so don't worry about that. Honestly, this is kind of, um, this series is meant to be a thank you for all the just awesome, awesome support that you guys have been pouring into my recent videos. I am blown away with how, um, how much traction this Austria series I've been doing has been getting. Um, honestly, I my wife has been giving me a hard time actually because I've been checking the analytics so much because I'm just blown away um, at the, the view counts and all this stuff because this is stuff that I'm completely not used to at all. Um, <clears throat> since I did my Netherlands playthrough a couple months ago, um, you know, the channel has, the growth has been crazy. Um, and I know that sounds a little weird to say because I'm sitting at about 360 something subscribers right now, which to me is 360 some people that decided, hey, this guy's stuff is pretty good. I want to see more of that. And I want to thank you. So this series is a thank you to those. Um, I had two specific requests for this series. Um, and so we are going to be playing as Muscovy and we're going to be the Ruskies basically we're gonna form Russia and we're gonna see what we can do with that um, Maybe even go for a European conquest. We're definitely gonna annex Crimea. That's a <laughs> Distasteful political joke, um, but anyways, so that's what we're gonna do um, That all being said though. I do want to tell you guys that this series is not gonna be as Frequent as the Austria series the Austria series is gonna remain twice daily uploads for the time being and this one will be once daily Um Depending on how often I get time to sit down and record because I am quite busy right now working as an intern um, At an office a local office and so I don't really have a whole lot of time So if I'm going to upload daily, I need it to be worth my while So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say if this first video gets let's just say 15 likes which I know is a small number, but for me I would be Elated to see 15 likes if it gets 15 likes by the end of the day tomorrow. That is uh, Thursday evening I will start uploading daily through the weekend and um, And we'll figure out where we're going from there. All right I think that sounds fair 15 doesn't sound like a lot, but to me it is anyways I don't want to ask for likes. I don't want to ask for subscriptions I only want you guys to do what you want anyways. I'm done talking. Let's get into the series So we're gonna play as Muscovy we are going to play on Iron Man, and we are going to be the Ruskies. I think I spelled that wrong, but whatever. We're playing. So, I'm working on my um, my volume and all that stuff because I think that I talk a bit differently depending on the video. And honestly, it's because my wife is usually home. Um, right now, she's currently not, so I'm talking a bit louder, I think. Um, I don't know. It's just weird. You know, my wife and I are newlyweds and she actually didn't know that I did YouTube until recently. So she's, uh, you know, I try to not be, not weird her out, I guess. I don't think it's weird. She thinks it's weird. You guys get it. It's all right. Anyways, if the audio is good, bad, in between, tell me because I want to adjust it and make sure that it's um, at least watchable, right? Okay. Anyways, let's play as the Ruskies, Muscovy. Um, first and foremost, we will rival Lithuania, we will definitely rival Novgorod. Denmark, not so interested in, but Kazan, Great Horde. Mm. I'll wait on this one to see what kind of alliance networks get formed. Um, as far as these guys, let's go with um, Diplo Rep. No military for now, probably. And let's go with Prestige. Let us turn the army off. We have, oh. We actually do not have a, um, a truce with them, so I take it back. We're going to immediately invade Novgorod, I believe. Let me see here. Yeah, no truces. All right, cool. So, we're going to um, start improving with a couple of our vassals, mostly just the little guys that I'm not interested in keeping around for too long. Um, all right. So, I think with that, we can move up to speed four. <laughs> Get these guys into position. Dimitri Shamika. Shamika. D listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to pronounce so much random stuff wrong because I am a dumb American with a dumb American tongue. All right? So please uh, cut me some slack here. All right. So he's in a trade league with Odiev, which is this guy down here. Might even call him in as a co-belligerent. Tver. Let's 
He's got a Rurikovich, actually. I might be able to get a personal union, but I don't really want a personal union. So, uh, we're going to call Odie Evan as a co-belligerent. We're going to just stack wipe fair and um, do all that. Um, so, let's do this monthly tick here. Get you back here. Declare war. Oh, he allied Ryzon. See, I shouldn't have waited. Can I co-belligerent you? Let's... Co-belligerent Ryzon, actually. Um, oh wait, we don't have any claims. Oh, a bit of an oversight on my part. Land, invade Novgorod. So we need to ride to, right, raise to the force limit. So we need 10 more forces in the field. What's our force limit here? 14 <laughs> and 12. All right, so let's get you guys split up and then I will bring five here and five there. Uh, whenever we can afford it. No manpower, apparently. All right, so let's actually turn the army off for a little bit. Just so we're not taking on needlessly large amounts of, uh, debt. And there we go. We should be force limit now. Very good. Um, I guess we can royal marry all our subjects. No, no point in, uh, not getting our relationship up with them. And we're just waiting on these guys to recruit. So might as well get a little bit of improved relationship while we can. All right, let's get you back. And we also need to bring up the army maintenance. Gonna take a couple ticks of attrition here. It's it's whatever. I'm not too concerned about it. Let's actually get you guys split up here. <clears throat> so permanent claim on all this stuff up here. And that's exactly what we want. Do you have any cores or claims up here, Belazero? I might split the land up a little bit just to save me some admin costs. Maybe. We'll see. All right, so let's declare this war. So Odiev left. Okay, so Tavera isn't going to be at war with us. So let's just get this right army down here. And call in Ryzon. Guaranteed by Lithuania, huh? Let's see if we can get that Jigalian to fire, though, in the free time. In the meantime, I should say. Once the Jigalian fires, they'll lose Lithuania. We can co-belligerent them. Uh, I'm building Spy Network in the wrong country. I should get some claims over here in Ryzon. That'll save me some Diplo lately. Um, okay, they're making some claims. We're losing a little bit of money, but we'll get it all back in this war for sure. We're not going to take a whole lot of land, just enough. Mostly going to be monetary. So which one are we taking here? 11? Definitely. All right, so let's build some Spy Network in Ryzon. He actually would ally me. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, not interested. Allied to Poland. All right, fire off the uh, Jagellian. You need him. I, I promise you, you need a Jagellian. Losing too much money here. Let's uh, bring it down just a bit. Half maintenance. Oh, speaking of this, actually, we should do these clicks. Very good. Uh, so we need to get the burgers some points. Cossacks, I guess we can get a little bit of extra cavalry combat ability. Um, land force limit modifier. Oh, that's really good. I didn't know that. So free army tradition as well. Cool. Okay. I, to be honest with you, I've never really messed with the Cossacks, so it's good to see. All right. So let's get a couple of provinces to the burgers if we're able. So we can actually give... Uh, these are all in the capital region, aren't they? Nope. They're not, actually. And there we go. It's actually perfect. So grant you there and get that 100 diplo points we're down to negative prestige but i mean i guess that's kind of to be expected all right they need the jigalian very good so let's see here still just allied to Ryzon. Ryzon is just allied to you all right and let's get that maintenance turned up there very good declare this war i don't think lithuania will be allowed to join in doesn't show on my screen that they're guaranteed anymore. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that I don't think it's gonna happen. So let's get you in there. Let's see if we can just stack wipe that army real quick here. Let's get these guys over here and just siege, start sieging them down. The vassals will do a large bulk of the work. So. Alright, well. We don't have a big enough army down here, so we're going to have to send our second stack down here. This Novgorod is going to be a level 3 fort, so it's going to take some time to uh, siege it down. Okay. So let's get that army over here. None of them are siege guys, so I'm not really too concerned about that. So I suppose I should just put you over here just so I don't lose this siege progress here very good just waiting on this and then i don't want to be there actually so my vassals are up here just taking it so they've lost 5k we've lost nine damn okay execute the troublemakers lose some money i'm already gonna take out some loans so i don't really care a whole lot they gained a little bit of um hey look at that <laughs> Very good. Like them when things work out like that, right? All right. So let's just uh, siege down some of this stuff. Looks like their army is actually coming up here to try to mess with my men, so... Let's see if we can get our guys up there. Nah, it doesn't look good. Okay. Oh, actually... See if we can catch up to him. 27th, let be the holy church. All right, still not gonna catch him. Oh my goodness. Wait, how? How did you do that, dude? Are you kidding me? You just stack wiped that army? That seems kind of bogus. Damn, okay, well, I, I deserved it, I suppose. I was not paying attention at all, so. So let's, um, hmm, I'm upset about that. That was very disappointing. Maybe we could win this siege. That would be cool. <clears throat> Sieges in Russia are always just an absolute slog, you know? It's like in real life. World War II, that's always the joke, right? The Russian winter. All right, so let's put you guys and just see if we can get some siege points down over here. You can siege down Kasimov. I don't care. All right, so we won this one. So let's get you guys split up over here, and then we'll coalesce on their capital here. All right, looks like we're making some serious progress over here in Ryzon. Can we get up to Neva? No, uh, we cannot. So that's fine. We'll just sit on here and loot this provinces a little bit. Yeah, I don't have the manpower to uh, refresh this army, so that's kind of bad. Hopefully my vassals can do a little bit of work down here. Damn. All right, so let's just get this guy marched down here. I can't believe that. That stack, stack wiped. I didn't even see it happen, so that's my bad. Hmm. Oh, my God. He just stack wiped my little cav, cav men. I'm so upset. Ryzon's army is too strong. They're strong. Just win the siege, please. We don't have any manpower to reinforce my armies. ODF wants to give me a, a loan. It's going to be a pass from me, but I appreciate the offer. So let's get you guys over here and get you down there. See if we can start sieging down their capital a little bit. Win the siege, damn it. All right. Get ahead of time. Get some extra money. We won the siege of Ryzon. Let's see if we can actually get a quick battle over here very good we can trace them down to Yelitz and we can probably kill them down here very good should be a stack wipe very good and then we can piece them out honestly yeah we don't have any claims on them so I think we're just gonna piece them out we could vassalize them I already am over my relationship slots. Yeah, I'm not, but I'm close enough. Q 
keep the truce a little short. Alright, so as far as Novgorod goes, I'm gonna take... All of this seems good. Seems like... Let's give this one to Bella Zero. It's a pretty good peace deal. Though maybe I should take a little bit of money, but I'm not gonna be able to. Really need to get that manpower. I'm missing 7k. And we're losing 3%. <gasps> what, you sons of guns? Why would you do that? I'm done. They literally just walked the 28k stack on killed my army and attrition. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Whatever. So let's actually drill that army. Try to get a little bit of uh, military. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Professionalism. Is this really that many? You just win in these little sieges over here. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go up to speed five for a few months. See if we can get a clear. Wall breach is nice. As long as I don't get too many. Okay, so my subjects are raising the siege number. I'm losing so much manpower just from these sieges. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, he's going up there, so we just need to siege this stuff down, I think, honestly. There we go. So maybe I take that and then I take money instead. That seems more appropriate. We don't even have the admin to take all that stuff. Maybe... So this is pretty good dev pro- that's a 20 dev. 7. So maybe I give a couple of these provinces to my vassals to save me a little bit <clears throat> of um... That's more reasonable. That's seven as well. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Let that vassal blow up a little bit. Clear out as much AE as we can. Let's get these guys... Putting, putting down uh, the baddies over here. Let's get Kazan. Who are you allied to? Crimea and Shadagai. Ooh. You are allied to Uzbek, so I'm not nearly as worried about Great Horde. So let's go with Great Horde as well, and then Denmark. Alright, so then until we need to worry about the um You're at war with who? Poland? So who are you attacking? Crimea, I assume? Yeah, okay. Okay, very good. Need to pull my keyboard up a little bit. There we go, much better. I guess I could probably afford... Do we want admin tech first? I'm not even sure what idea we want to go with first. I'm thinking probably admin is usually a good one for Russia. Um, so if that's the case, we're definitely going to keep the admin focus. What's our ruler? 312. Next one's a 345, which is pretty dang good. He's got admin. Uh, okay. So actually, this uh, Nyaz Vasily is uh, pretty good, all things considered. So let's core up that last couple. And uh, Renaissance is here. Let's just speed five it for a little bit, get some extra income. All right, so we can actually get a couple of cores over here as well. So I will do that. And let's get a couple more cores on Tver. I might as well get one on Odiev. Ideally, I would have an extra diplomat to improve with my, um, my vassals, but we'll see what we can come up with. One second, the wife texted me. Uh, 
I forgot to pay the rent. <laughs> so I got a bill. My bad. You know how it is. When the wife calls, you answer. I didn't have a say. All right. So, on Hall, Circassia, Imareti might be a good one. They don't want to marry me? Why you don't want to marry me, huh? I'm a good guy, I promise. You don't want Rurikovic on your, on your throne? Just watching that Novgorodian rubbles. Uh, it's getting a little steep there. All right, so let's turn up our maintenance. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Hopefully that's... Eight in reinforcements? Oh, because we have a lot of men to reinforce. Right, right, right. Okay, it'll go down. Um. Anyways, so let's get that claim and this claim. Get rid of that. And let's increase, improve relations with you. We'll get that third one too. There we go. We're actually in the positive very now. Very nice. Cool. Definitely want this guy to be... Um, this guy can keep drilling. That's fine. Just slowly but surely tickling up that uh, professionalism might get rebels as soon as the next couple of months. Let's actually get our leader right there. Oh, no. You mean to tell me. Dude, I hate rebels so much. You have no idea. You have no idea. <sighs> Alright, now I gotta wait. Come on. Um, definitely would rather have the Patriarch Authority. Let's go speed five. Get you guys over here. See if we can double team them. Some extra tactics might be helpful. Fighting the rebels. Oh, it just breaks my heart to see that I have to do this. <coughs> Oops. Excuse me, got some hiccuping going on in there. <coughs> Very good. All right, so you guys will then drill with the king, because if he dies, I'm kind of okay with it. And what was this that said? So Kazan is no longer a valid rival. That's a bummer. I would have liked to have uh, kicked his teeth in. All right. Let us reform the Pomestia. Pomestia. I don't know how to pronounce the J in uh, in Russian. Sorry, all my Slavic friends. Um, after the Muscovites invaded Novgorod in 1471, Lithuania failed to come to Novgorod's defense. Novgorod was forced to accept the Korstin's Treaty, which further limited his independence. Ivan III, still weary of uprising because of what had happened to his father, deported many of his citizens of Novgorod. He also replaced leaders in the Novgorodian church with Russian Orthodox leaders. Lands were taken from the natives and given to cavalrymen in return for military service. After establishing the reform of land management called the Pomesti system, there he introduced it to the Muscovite. To the... To, into Muscovite. Okay. Uh, by seizing the local nobles called Boyars estates and gave him... Giving it to his army, he hooked bolster the and centralize his power and create loyalty in his army and other servants. By 1489, Novgorod was a shell of its former self and now part of the ever-growing Russian state. So which one do we want? So this is for 25 years, trade efficiency and institution spread, or mill, tech co mill cost and army. Definitely go with the reform. All right, guys, that'll do it for the episode. Like I said, 15 likes and we will get daily uploads. And, um... Honestly, the support is wonderful, and I love it. I appreciate you guys enjoying the content. Honestly, I make it for you. So if you are enjoying it, please show your support. Leave a like. If you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification every time I upload a video, which is the best way to keep up on the channel. But with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.